Welcome to Messy Church for February. We're going to talk tonight about love, because Valentine's Day is a few days away, and that's the time when we talk about friends, caring for one another, loving, pretty Valentine hearts. Let's talk for a minute about Jesus and his friends. Jesus knew that he was going to go to heaven at some point in his teaching. And he wanted his disciples to know how important it is to love other people because his disciples would take over Jesus' teaching. Now Jesus knew It's very important to love God. But it's also important to care for others. That's the kind of relationship God wants us to have with him. He wants us to love him and care for others. When we care for others, people know that we love God. Jesus said to his disciples at their very last supper together, Jesus said, I am going to give you a new commandment, a new rule to follow. And this is the rule. Love one another. Love all people as much as I love you. And then people will look at you and say, he's a friend of Jesus. She's a friend of Jesus. They're friends of God. Because look how they care for one another. This bicycle wheel might be able to help you understand about caring for others. Do you see the spokes? Do you see how far apart they are on the outside? And then, as they come towards the hub, the spokes come closer together. Do you know without the spokes, there would be no tire? The spokes give the tire its shape, and the hub gives the wheel its strength. Let's pretend for a moment that each one of us is a spoke in the wheel, which is round like our world. So, I'm a spoke, you're a spoke, this guy's a spoke. We're all part of the world. And the hub is God. Okay. So, closer we get to God, in the middle, the closer we get to one another. With COVID-19, of course, we have to be careful to follow the rules and not get too close to our friends at school, on the playground. But this kind of closeness that we're talking about tonight is caring for one another. So the closer we get to God, the closer, the more caring we can be to one another. But what happens, this person said, well, I want to be close to God. I love God. But I don't really want to be close to that guy. He dresses differently than I do. Or. 
This person says, Mom, I don't want to be close to her because she's just a little bit odd. She eats her lunch alone. She doesn't mix with anybody. We push away from other people. We're pushing away from God. We know that God will always be close to us, always be with us. But we need to try our best to care for one another because this is what God wants. Can you imagine if everyone pushed away from anyone else and didn't bother to care about them or smile at them or make them feel better about themselves? Our world might collapse. Here's what I want you to remember. Even though it's COVID-19 time, we can still care for others. We can make a phone call or zoom in to one of our friends. We can get mom to help us make a card or make a card by ourselves to send to grandma, who's all by herself. We can get together with our parents and pack a food box to take down to the food bank or to bring to the church when it's food bank Saturday. We can say prayers for others in hopes that they won't feel so alone because prayers are sort of telepathic. God helps us get them to others. Now, I have a little prayer And I'm going to read it, and this will help you remember our story about the bike wheel. Dear God, thank you for your eternal love. Help us to keep your commandment to love one another and love all else you have created with respectful, kind, and caring action. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I have a song. And this song may help you think about reaching out to others. In this jar... I put that on very tight so they wouldn't fall out. I have some dimes. Can you count them with me? Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and a couple of extras. This would make a dollar. Ah, I'm not exactly rich, but I could do something with those dimes to help someone else. Or maybe I should save them. I'm going to put the extra ones in there. Have a listen to this song. Love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Love is something if you give it away, you end up having more. It's just like some magic dimes. Hold on tight and they'll lose their shine. But lend them Spend the man you will find. You'll end up having more love. Because love is something if you give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Love is something if you give it away. 
you'll end up having more. Hmm, I'm not going to just keep these dimes in a jar. I'm going to ask Mom if we can go to the dollar store. And I'm going to buy a beautiful Valentine card for Jenny down the street because she lives all by herself. So I've got a dollar and I've got some extra dimes for tax and we're going to go to the dollar store and we're going to buy a card and I'm going to give some of my love for others away. I hope you like that song. If you forget the words, you can run this again. Mom will help you, and maybe you can sing along and remember about giving some of your love away. And you don't need money. You just need to have a caring heart with God's Spirit inside it. Now, we've got a craft to do. And this craft has to do with caring for God's creatures in our environment. I want to show you what I made at home that you can make for Valentine's Day for God's creatures, the birds, and maybe the squirrels. This is a Valentine bird feeder. And I made it at home to show you what it will look like when it's all finished. I'm going to hang my Valentine bird feeder outside where I hang my hanging plant on one of those hanging rods. And there's a pole underneath it where the birds can stand and they will be able to get the bird seed from the heart. Underneath the bird seed, what makes the bird seeds stick together is lard. Lard is like fat. Mom uses lard when she mixes it with flour to make pies. Lard and bird seed help the birds store fat to give them energy. And I wouldn't be surprised if a squirrel or two will try to nibble at this bird seed. But that's okay because they're all God's creatures. I'll show you now what you need to make the bird feeder. If you have some scrap paper at home, you can fold it in half. You can get mom to help you if this is hard. And you go around and you make a half a heart. Don't forget to come down a bit once you get to the fold. And when you open it up, you have a heart. Now you will need an empty cereal box. If there's, please ask mom first if you can have the box. If there's cereal inside, perhaps mom can wrap up the paper and put um, a bread tag on it or put it into a Tupperware container so the cereal stays fresh. And then you've got your empty box. So it's just almost like recycling a box. We want to flatten this. So you undo it, and you may have to use scissors to cut along the side, and there's your box. You can even make two bird feeders, one for sister and one for brother. Or if you have more than two kids in your family, you might need two cereal boxes, or you can make your heart smaller to make a smaller bird feeder. Here's a tip. Don't put your heart pattern over the folds. If you do, your bird feeder might kind of bend in the middle. So use a nice big clear space, trace around your heart and cut it out and you will have a cardboard heart. You need a cardboard heart because it's sturdier than just a paper one. By the time you get lard on your paper one and bird seed, it might collapse like the bicycle wheel did. So once you have your cardboard heart cut out, I'm 
ask mom for some lard. Now, if no one in your family is allergic to peanut butter, you could also use peanut butter. Get a spatula or knife. A nice big hunk of fat. And spread it over your cardboard heart. All over the one surface. And don't spread it too thinly because you need to have enough lard so your bird seed will stick. Once you have the lard all over the side of your cardboard heart, you can use a knife too to spread it evenly. Take a piece of wax paper, put it on the table, then sprinkle lots of bird seed onto the wax paper. You can buy bird seed at Walmart. If mom has to go and get her groceries, could you ask her to pick some up in the pet division? Or you can go to the dollar store with mom and you can pick up bird seed there. Now if you have a pack of sunflower seeds at home, you could use those. And you could also use peanuts if you have a tin of peanuts, you could ground them up finely with um, uh, a pastry roller. And then you would have seeds for your creature. Then you take your cardboard heart and you press down with the side that's covered with lard. And then when you lift up your cardboard heart, you will have bird seed on one side. Now you might want to use an awl, which is picky at the end, but don't do this yourself. Get dad to help you. Make a hole near the top of your heart and put a ribbon through it. You can even do that before you put the lard on and the bird seed. And then you do exactly the same to the other side of the cardboard. Smear lard all over it and then dip the other side into the bird seed. You might need to put more on and then there you go. There's your Valentine bird feeder. You can hang it on the tree outside or you can hang it like I did on the plant hanger and then you can look out your window and watch how your Valentine bird feeder helps the birds. This is a really caring thing to do. We still have many more winter days ahead. Remember that paper heart that I cut out to use as a pattern? Do you know that you can cut this out and then use it as a bird Valentine? I made one right here. See? I put the heart on its side, the folded part at the top. I cut out a little orange beak and some feet. I used a marker for the eye, and then I cut out another Valentine heart, a smaller one, for the feathers. It's nice that this valentine is a bird because we've just talked about bird feeders, but something more important, when you open up the valentine, you can write or print, we love because he first loved us. Now, where have I heard something like that before? Right, that's what Jesus kind of said to his disciples. We love and care for others because God first loved us. Because Jesus first loved us. And then you can send your Valentine bird to someone special in your family or down the street to show that you care for others. 
I hope you enjoyed the crafts that you can make for Valentine's Day. Happy birthday to all our Messy Church members who have a birthday in February. Have a lovely Valentine's Day. And remember, love and caring first come from God. And we can help him by reaching out to others. Bye for now.